testimony tonight. Oh, let the devil hear you. another day that we can gather in his presence. Oh, many went to sleep, they couldn't see this day. But we are standing here victorious. We are standing here giving him praise. We are standing here giving and blessing and magnifying his wonderful name. Oh, what a time, what a season to be in the house of the Lord and to dwell under his presence. Amen. You love him tonight? Hallelujah. Shall we bow our heads as we approach his throne of grace tonight? Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless and magnify your name. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We come, O oh God, on where as we are, Father, Lord, seeking your face. And Lord, pray that you will come in tonight, Father, and take me out of the way. And Father, may you interpret your word to your people tonight, Father. Oh Lord, bless the reading of the word, the preaching of it, and the hearing of it, Father. At the end, may we leave this place a better people to your glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. And amen. Oh, glory to God. As we go straight to the word, shall we turn to the book of Hebrews chapter 1? And the book of Genesis chapter 1. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hebrews 1, God who at sundry times and in diverse manners speak in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, had in the last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom he by whom also he made the world, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself paid our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Oh, what a blessedness. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So there's nothing you're going to do now. He did it all. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you are just walking the manifestation of what he has already done. Glory. Praise God. Genesis 1. Genesis 1, 26. One twenty-six, and God said let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeped upon the earth so God created man in his own image in the image of God created he him male and female created he them amen may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word you may be seated amen my brother, don't let the devil steal your joy now. You are in heavenly places. Praise God. Amen. So tonight for a title, the manifestation of the images of God. Praise God. We are just playing up what we are. Amen. We are not going to be manifested. We are already manifested. Because we are created on this earth to be images of Christ. We are created in his image and after his likeness. And the subject predestinated sea germs. Praise God for an inspiration, the spirit and the bride united under one head. Oh, you love him tonight. Praise God. So you pray for me.
me now? Amen. Amen. Now, God said, let us make man Amen. in our own image. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So when God was making the, the, the thoughts of God about you, it was not to come in flesh. It was not to come defeated. It was not to come as a human being. It was to come in his express image. Praise God. So we're created in the image of God. And God is his spirit. So we are created to live in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Manifest the spirit. Overcome everything by the spirit. Praise be the name of a living God. Because we are here express as the manifested images of Christ. Amen. So he said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness Amen. and let them have dominion over the fish of the air. Hallelujah. I mean the fish of the sea, Amen. of the fowl of the air Amen. and over the cattle and over all the earth. That's right. Praise God. Amen. So created in that image, we're giving power. Amen. We're giving power. Whoa. But that power had authority with it. Amen. So we have power today Amen. over every creeping thing. Amen. Power over every foul spirit. Amen. Power over no praise demons. Power over every binding spirit. Why? We are the very manifestation of what God taught before the foundations of the earth. So God didn't bring you here to suffer. God didn't bring you here to be discouraged. God brought you here to have dominion, to have victory, to overcome, to suppress every spirit that is contrary to the spirit of the living God. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. That is why we are saying that we are the manifestation of the images of God. Because God thought about us. But he had a dispensation to express us. And when you are expressed, you are manifested. Noah was manifested. Noah was expressed for his season. Luther was expressed for his season. Wesley for his season. Pentecost for his season. But there comes a time. There comes a time that the spirit, that the spirit must connect with the word and manifest itself in the people called the bride of Jesus Christ. And we are here today. We are not coming, we are here. Because that is the promised word of the living God. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. And the devil thought he could stop the bride. He thought he could stop the bride by bringing sin in the garden. But God made a way. He came down from the throne. He was born in a manger. Went to the cross. He was tried. He was tested. He went to that cross. Took your sins. Took my sins. Brought back our souls, praise God, and told the devil it is finished. There is now therefore no condemnation to all that are in Christ Jesus. So you are not here condemned. You are here the express image of Jesus Christ to manifest and overcome, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. That is why you can never be sad. That is why you can never be defeated. That is why the devil will put you down but you rise up again. Why? Let us make man. If God can never be defeated. If God can be defeated, he's living in me. I cannot be defeated. I cannot be conquered. He conquered death. He conquered sickness. He conquered everything. I cannot be conquered today. Why? I am the manifested, express image of the living God. He said, yet a little while the world will not see me. But you will see me because I will be with you, even in you, to the end of the world. So it is not by might, it is not by power, it is not by your desire. You didn't choose to come to this earth. God brought you here because you were in his thought. Hallelujah, you were in his plan. You were in his predestination. So he said, let us make this man. Praise God. And he said, male and female created he them. Praise God. So he's not talking about Adam now. Hallelujah. He's talking about you, the bride of Jesus Christ. Oh, give him praise tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. So we've got to know what we are here. We have a purpose. God created us for a purpose. To be the express image of his word. And the time has come that this word cannot stay on books and tapes. This word must be manifested. The spirit cannot come on paper. The spirit is going to come into the souls of men. It's going to come into the flesh of men. It's going to come into your lips. Come into your feet. Come into your thoughts. Come into your heart. That you can manifest God on this earth. Oh, blessed be the name of a living God. So Brother Abraham said in fellowship by redemption. Amen. You may be seated. He said, I am believing that the day that we are living in now, the most essential thing that I could think of, of any minister speaking of, is to get the people back to the general principles of the gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. 
we are to bring you back to the general principles of the gospel Amen. that you were created in the image of God you just didn't come to this world just to walk and die and go and praise God you came here to be a representation so if God is love you've got to manifest that God on the earth oh come on now oh come on now that's why we can't help our seed we can't help our nature we are the express images of God Get the people back to the general principles of the gospel. Coming back to a place. For if you are not built upon the right foundation, it is just no good at all. Hallelujah. So in the message, we're going to come back to the general principles of Brother Abraham's message. Praise be to the living God. And when God took the prophet out there, he told him, he said, nothing can come in here without perfect love. Oh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. God could not let the world perish. He had to step down, gave his son, because his heart was full of love. His nature is love. His being is love. And no wonder charity, the capstone of love, must cap up your individual life. It must cap up your life. Oh, to be the manifested images of God, you must express that God. Oh, and God is love. Beloved, God is love. He that loveth not is not of God, and knoweth not God. But he that loveth is of God, and knoweth God. And that is our seed. From the beginning, God is love. Oh, and it was his love that brooded. It was his love that came down. When Adam felt his love came down, he had to find Adam. He had to find Eve. He had to redeem back his children. Oh, come on now, and his love has found you. His love has found you. His love has elected you. His love has chosen you. His love has predestinated you for such a time as this. Oh, that you will be the manifestation of that image where Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible says, what is the use of a building upon a foundation that is already condemned? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. What is the use, Amen. I say? Oh, what would it be the use of trying to paper and paint an old building that the government had condemned? Amen. That is what many people are trying to do today by reforming, trying to reform. We will start a church. We will turn a new page. We will try to do a little different. We will try to do a little different than we used to do. You will never get nowhere like that. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Hallelujah. When you are born, there's a seed gem. Are you getting me now? I want you to connect to this word tonight. When you are born, there's a seed gem in your soul. Brother, and that seed gem has a nature. That seed gem came from somewhere. Hallelujah, you cannot act different from your father. Hallelujah, they say like father, like son. So when you are born and express son of your father, you exhibit his attributes. Hallelujah, there is a resemblance, there is an action, there is an attitude, there is a behavior that looks just like your father. Praise God, why? Because you are the seed of your father. Oh, you, you look like him, you walk like him, you talk like him, your mannerisms are like your father. Pray because there's a seed gem, you come from your father. You are the seed gem of your father. So if the bride is the seed gem of God, brother, you've got to act like him. You've got to talk like him. You just didn't come to this world. You were born a seed gem. And that seed gem comes to maturity. Oh, come on now. And when you come to maturity, you act just like your father. Oh, his nature is in you. His likeness is in you. His desire is in you. You are about the father's business. Why? You are the expressive gem of your father. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So there is something about the believer. Praise God. Because we are built on the foundation of God. Oh, glory to God. Amen. So the prophet said, Amen. We'll try to start a new church. We'll turn a page. We'll try to do things a little different than we used to do. But brother said, you will never get anywhere like that. It is just foolish to even try. See? You are just only wasting time. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Oh, I will just quit my lying. I will quit my stealing. And all those things, as good as they are, you are still a million miles off the road. Amen. You've got to get, you've got to start back to the foundation. Amen. Are you hearing me now? Amen. You've got to start back to the foundation. Amen. You've got to build a new place. Not patch up the old one. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why I said I will put my spirit in your new spirit you've got to get a new spirit 
Nicodemus came there wanted eternal life. He said, except a man be born again. Praise God. He's not making a resolution. He's not determining in your heart. From today I will know. Praise God. You've got to be born again. That old nature is no good. Kick it away. Praise God and get on the foundation of faith. Which is the word. Because faith coming by hearing and hearing of that word. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. Hallelujah. You've got to come right back. Right. Start. Amen. Start right. That is the reason you see so many faulty mistakes. So many indifferent people. People who profess Christianity. Praise God. So we are coming to start on that foundation. Where is the foundation? Christ is the foundation. Oh, not the family. Not the tradition. Not our culture. Christ. Praise be to the living God. And when Christ comes, he's coming for the seed germ that he brought on the earth. That is the only thing that goes back to him. But by your nature today expresses it. Oh, hallelujah. Did you hear me now? A Christian, you cannot hide your nature. A son of God, you can't hide your nature. A son of God, you cannot. Your nature is love. Love, praise God. There's no jealousy, there's no separation, there's no divisions. Hallelujah, because that is of the devil. But it is one big family. Why? By one spirit. We are all baptized into the body, into where we came from. Our seed is the word. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. So we are not starting anything else. We are going back to where we came from. We came from God and we are going back to God. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to the living God. The Bible says, you know, this is a kind of little bit hard, but you know, you are the only Bible, he said, you are the only Bible that many people will ever read. You Christians. Hallelujah. Your thoughts are the Bible. That speak to God. Because the Bible says, your thoughts are louder in heaven. That even what you say with your lips, hallelujah, by your express life is a Bible, hallelujah, walking, talking, and people will judge you by that than what you profess. Why? Because you that you are the only Bible that many people will read. You Christians, your life is the only Bible that men, a lot of men and women will ever read. Just the way you act and do. Oh, come on now. That is why Jesus came, praise God. He couldn't help him but act the word. He couldn't help him but live the word. He could not help him but express the word. He said, if you see me, you see the Father. Why? He was the manifestation of the image of God on the earth. His very life, he couldn't help but do good. Like you sang this evening, everywhere he went, he was doing good. He was doing good. He was doing good. He cleaned the leper. He raised the blind eye. Praise God, he raised the dead. He was doing good. But that was his nature. He couldn't help it. Praise God. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my, my. A lot of people, he said, will ever read just the way you act and do. So, Christians are supposed to be a living example of what Christ is. And if Christ is in the human heart, then he will certainly live his own life. Huh? So, if Christ is in your heart, who will live his life? Christ is the one in there. He will live his life. That's why we say, my life is not my own. Huh? My life belongs to him. Why? It is him in there living his life out. Where? In your heart. So the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Why? It is the express image of God living out. And if Christ is in the human heart, then he will certainly live his own life. For Christ is in you, and the spirit of Christ be in you, then you become a new creature. Huh? Not a patch up, man. You become a new creature. So people can look at you and say, you have changed. Praise God. Huh? So when you were 10 years ago, people can look at you today and testify. Amen. If you're a liar, they will know you stop lying. Amen. If you're a gossiper, they know you have stopped gossiping. Amen. If you're a tattler, they know you have stopped tattling. Amen. If you're a Confucianist, they know you have stopped the confusion. Why? Your life is changed. You are a new creature. 
But if you are still the same old one, brother, you are not new yet. There's something wrong with your experience. Oh, glory be to the living God. Now, I love to think that preachers everywhere, if every person that is called on the name of the Lord will live just exactly like, exactly the Christian life. Why? This would be a converted well in the next 24 hours. In certain world, the Bible said that you are the salt of the earth. And the soul can only save when it comes in contact with spoiling earth. The earth is spoiling, rotting. Praise God. This world is finished. Nothing is left. It's only the bride that is holding this world together. But soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are living this world. It's not going to be long now. Oh not going to be long. We have entered into another atmosphere. We have entered into another realm where the spirit must connect with every seizure. Oh, glory be to the living God. That is why we are bringing the word today. That is why we have gone past the church members. We have gone past the make believers. We have gone past the unbelievers. We are here targeting the true believer. So the word is coming forth to the true believer because we are leaving this place soon and very soon. Hallelujah. And I told you, you're going to see the power of God in the church. The power of God is because he promised it. That the power of this church will rise. The power of that church will rise. And what is that rising in the power? What is rising? What is that power that is rising? Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in the believer. Present tense God. Not the God of yesterday. Not the God of tomorrow. But the God of present tense. My God. The living God. The living bread. The one that is real. He appeared to Abraham. He appeared to Moses. He appeared to the three Hebrew children. And he promised I will be with you. I will be with you. I will not leave you comfortless. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, pride of Jesus Christ, you better buckle your belt. You better cut the well off. You better cut the noise off. You better cut the unbelief off. Have your mind focused on Christ. Have your mind focused on Joseph's perfection. There is nothing against Joseph. Oh, come on now. I'm not talking about Jacob Grace. Today I'm in the message. Tomorrow I'm not in the message. I'm not talking about Jacob Grace. I'm not talking about stop this and stop that. I am talking about now, therefore, let us go unto perfection. Let us go unto adoption. Let us leave the noise behind. Brother, because God is going to open up the Red Sea and drown these Egyptians. Because these Egyptians that you see today, you will see them no more in your life. Because we are on our way to the promised land. Adoption is inside. The sons of God, manifestation of the bride of Christ is inside. Oh, we are living this world. We are living this world. We are living the curse of this world. We are living the spirits of this world. And we are going back to God. Back to God, praise God. Oh, glory be to the living God. Hallelujah. Oh, Brother Brown said the, the earth is spoiling. It's rotten, you know that. And the salt must come in contact with the earth. Or, amen. Or if it don't, it will be gone. Praise God. So you are the salt of the earth. Ah, the world want to see peace, they see you. They want to see love, they see you. Because our God is not an author of what? Confusion. Praise God. So what the politicians are confusing out there, causing mayhem, brother, there's a solid pride of Christ where the Spirit of God is connected. Praise God, giving you blessed promises of how to make yourself ready and get out of this world. Because everything in this world is going to go through a fire baptism. Oh, build your hopes on things eternal. Build your hopes on things eternal. For they shall never pass away. Oh, let that be your anchor. Let that be your solace. Let that be your anchor. Let that be your hope. Praise be to the living God. Build your things on things eternal. For they shall never pass away. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be the name of the living God. Hey, may you love him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, brother, we are here, man. Hallelujah. But Abraham said, Amen. In Hebrews, he said, What was Paul trying to say? The scriptures we read. He's trying to show that God purpose all things in Christ. Hallelujah. 
and Christ was the express image of God. The entire rest of the chapter deals with how that he was higher than the angels, higher than all power. Angels worship him. Paul was trying to magnify him. Brother said, now I want to try. If I don't get any further than this, the rest of it is just magnifying Christ. What Paul says over here, like in the 11th chapter, talking about the world, he said, Amen, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. He said, the end of the world, they shall perish. The world shall perish. All things of this world shall perish. They would fold them up like vesture. Amen. They will be old and dead and go away. But thou remainest. Thou remainest forever. Thou son of man. Thou my son. This day have I begotten thee. And will never perish. Sitting at the right hand of his majesty. The Lord said, what does the right hand mean? Not that God has got the right hand. That somebody is sitting right on it. Amen. He said right hand means power and authority. Praise God. Amen. He's got power. He's got the authority of everything in heaven and everything on the earth. And all heaven and earth is made by him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So this power must come back. Amen. Pray because he promised to send power to the church. Amen. And when you talk about church now, he's not talking about this group. Amen. He's talking about individuals Amen. that were in him. Because church is three kinds of believers. Amen. Huh? Praise God. But the word comes to only the believer. Amen. Praise God. You understand that? And that's why you must anchor into the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Two million people came out of Egypt. Two people went into the promised land. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, are you understanding me tonight? And therefore the word comes to catch that elect. That elect bride. And that elect bride cannot be formed on the earth. You have to be there. Praise God. Oh, let's go and praise God. Hallelujah. So the prophet said, Amen. He said, Who be the brightness of his glory, the express image of this person, upholding all things by the will of his power, when he had him by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of his majesty, and God said, Let us make man in our image and after our likeness. Praise God. Then he goes on. He said, Every seed must come after its kind. Amen. Praise God. Are you with me tonight? Every seed. Hallelujah. So you can't help every seed. Every seed must bring forth after its kind. Praise God. God made man in his image. Amen. After his kind. Amen. To be his word on the earth. Amen. So what are you to be? The word Amen. on the earth. That's right. Hallelujah. When you walk, they see God walking. They see God healing. They see God delivering. They see God bringing peace and joy and love and happiness. Praise God. What is it? You are the word of God on the earth. Yeah. Oh, come on, church. Hallelujah. Oh, what is it? He said he expressed it in Jesus. What was God was in Jesus. That was a man after his kind. See, when God, which is the word, how many knows he is the word? When the word was in Christ, a man, human man, expressing himself through him, that was God, the word in Christ, expressing itself. And God in the beginning made man in his own image. That's the kind of man God makes today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? Walking by faith and not by sight. Yeah. When those spies went into, went into the promised land, Twelve of them. Hallelujah. Amen. Two came back and said, we are more than able. Right. Why? Because God has already declared it, promised it. Hallelujah. The others were walking by sight. They were giants in that land. They didn't look at that. Joshua and Caleb knew that God had spoken. Hallelujah. And what God speaks, it is for me. Amen. If everybody will go, I am going. Because God said, I am going. What is it? It is God speaking. Amen. And what God speaks, it, he backs it up. And how does he back it up? He has a person on the earth that will take that word, believe that word, walk with that word. No matter your position, he is walking. Oh, I shall be perfect. I shall be adopted. No matter the storm, no matter the discouragement, God said so, I am going. The Bible said, the more the trials come your way, that shows that God is with you. So rejoice, praise God, and be glad. 
Hallelujah. Oh, my God is able this day. Oh, hallelujah. And God in the beginning made man his own image. Amen. And that's the kind of man God makes today. So God has God made men in his own image. So we have got to come to the image of God. Where we walk by the Spirit. Huh? And in walking by the Spirit, we have to have discernment. Are you getting me? Every son must have discernment. So go and read discernment of Spirit. Praise God. When David was rejected as the king on purpose, because Christ was coming, and Rabbi said, David typed Christ. He had to be rejected as a king. Cast aside, lonely. Hallelujah. But there were a few men that stood with David. They knew that this was, a, this was God's, God, God's choice. This was God's man. One day he's going to come into power. Power and authority. So they chose to walk with David. Everybody rejected David, mocked David, laughed at him. The cripple. Praise God. Had the audacity to stand before David and curse him in the face. Oh, Christ is playing the same yesterday today. Are you with me tonight? Hallelujah. David said, let the soldiers said, let me cut this dog. They called him a dog. But that was the anointed of God. Are you hearing me? Praise God. And David said, let him alone. Now leave him alone. God allowed him to do that. Amen. Praise God. Remember, David was acting out God. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. That was an express image of God on the earth. Amen. And when David was adopted, came into his position, restored back as king. Oh, that cripple had to beg for mercy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, brother, they will come to you and beg for mercy. Oh, let them curse you. Let them look you in the face and disrespect you. Don't worry, man. You are coming into power. Position as a son of God. In the image of God. Oh, better report for the gospel's sake. God has allowed them to do that. But we are coming into power. Adoption is promised. Perfection is promised. Amen. Place in Christ is promised. Oh, brother, but the love of God is in our heart. Oh, hallelujah. You love him tonight? Hallelujah. God, that is the kind of man God makes today. So let us be careful. The Ram said, God can take your name out of the book of life. How you treat the pride. So this pride, we are not cheap. Huh? We are not cheap. We are the blood of God walking on the earth. So our human spirit must get out of the way. Huh? You seek in your secrets and talk about one another. That's the devil. Are you getting me? Talkless of disrespecting men. Sons and daughters of God. No matter how angry you are, you have no right to look a servant of God in the face and point your anger up to him. You have no right. If God could open the windows of heaven and show you where he has placed them, he said, I made the ministers flames of fire. Now God's eye on the earth. Oh, the word is not for the preacher. He said, if your brother offends you, forgive how many times? 70 times 7. So the word is for you too. It's only the preacher that must take it and manifest the word. You must also manifest the word. Praise God. But nothing will stop that pride. Hallelujah. I'm bringing this in to help somebody. So you better repent because God will never touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. If you are my father, you've got to respect me as a servant of Christ. If I rebuke you and bless you as my father, I have the authority. You 
Take it in the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, that is the kind of man God makes today. The seminary and the incubator hatchery turns out a bunch of hybrids. Uh, we've been in the message all these years. We've got to have the character of the word. Not ourselves. It's about you, no, it's about him. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Praise be the name of the living God. Oh, you love him tonight? Hallelujah. Oh, the seminary and, and incubator hatchery. So we have churches that just hatch out people. Once you come in, you are a believer. No, that's not it, brother. You've got to leave the word. You've got to take all the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless them that curse you. That's the word. Oh, it's still the word. Hallelujah. Bless them, hallelujah, that despise you. So where is, where is your word? Huh? When they talk about you, they, they, you are angry. Where is the word? Hallelujah. Praise God. It's still the word. That is the kind of man God makes today. Amen. Not some incubator hatchery. I mean the message. I'm a believer. And when the trial comes, your temper is blazing like a fire. You haven't started. That's an incubator chicken hatched out. Are you getting me now? Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. God made man in his image after his kind. His kind. What is his kind? The word. He is a word. And if man denies the word of God, how can he be the image of God? How do you deny the word? When you can't act out that word. You see that? Hallelujah. We are talking about the manifestation of this word in you. How do you deny the word when you cannot believe that word? I'm making it very simple for you to understand. Amen. So before you can rise up, he said, don't let the sun go down on your what? Anger. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a word now. Amen. So Brother Ram said, Amen. The word, he is a word. And if man denies God's word, how can he be in God's image? Just ask the question. Ask yourself, how can you be in God's image and deny God's word when the word is expressed image of himself? So the word means what it says and says what it means. Hallelujah. But thank God in this day, brother, the word has found the bride, not the church. So David said it is the Lord that has allowed him to do that. He Jesus Christ to the cross. He said, Father, forgive them. Praise God. The apostles were torn asunder, fed to lions. They were singing to their death. And I'm going to sing to my death. Don't not go with me, yet I will follow that cross. Praise God. The Lord says, sing or drown, friend or no friend, denomination or no denomination. Whether I maintain my family or not, let me maintain Christ. Why? Because we are here to be images of the word. Not just the prophet said, the prophet said we are in the message. No. It's going to be a live voice. But I said, that's the thunder that shakes the devil. So Satan ain't afraid of you. How many years in the message and what you know and what you don't know. What is afraid of the life. When the trial comes, how do you react to it? Huh? How do you start to take the rebuke? How do you start to take the correction? How do you start to take the chastisement? Well, it's all the word now. Praise God. Are you rejoicing? Are you in tribulation? Are you rejoicing? When they persecute you, are you rejoicing? When they say all manner of evil about you, are you rejoicing? It is still the word. That is the manifestation we want to see now. Oh, you want power to raise the dead? No, no, character must be formed first. The word he made must be formed in you. The character of the word must be there. Love of God in your heart. Then when God sees that love, he knows you have come to maturity. Then he can say nothing against my pride. Joseph perfection. That's what we are going now to praise God. Oh, let me hurry up. Praise God. Are you following me tonight? 
Glory be to the living God. Amen. He said the express image of God said, Oh, I said it. Amen. I didn't really, really mean it. I was wrong. You see how the prophet got back? Huh? The express image of God. And he said, Oh, I said it. But I didn't really mean it. I was wrong. Amen. I back up. That was for some other time. I didn't really mean it. Oh, mercy, trash. Praise the Lord. A true, a true man is a man that can say, I'm sorry, even when you are right. I hear me now. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't hesitate to say, I am sorry, forgive me. Even though I know I'm right. Why? It takes a man to do that. When you swallow your pride. It's not me now, it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. So we are coming into power. Sometimes God will just hush you. Say, that's a trial coming. Hold it. Praise God. You think we are, we are wrestling against principalities and powers. We came and set the camera up today for, for this live streaming. Huh? Everything is fine. We come to check it will work. What do you think that the devil is not happy? Praise God, but he's a liar. Because we are going to have it anyhow. Brother, we will buy new ones tomorrow. Praise God. Satan can stop this pride. Because there's going to be a unity of the faith. By one spirit, we are going to be baptized. Praise God. So our brethren in Tichma are listening to us by audio tonight. Praise God. But they will be with us on Friday live. Praise God. Satan can't stop this church. We are going to move on to perfection. You watch it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Brother Abraham said, you've got to be born. Not join, not a new creature, yes, in his own image of his kind. Uh, so we have to be born anew. If you have never thought about it, you better think about it tonight. That the way you are, you've got to, not, no, I'm not saying change now. No, it's the same thing, but you've got to be born anew. That made a complete difference. That's right. You don't patch up, you want, you, you get a new thing. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah. So he said, You've got to be born, not joined. Praise God. Hallelujah. A new creature, yes, in his own image of his kind, to be expressed well on the earth. That's why we are here. We are here to be born anew, to be the express word of God on the earth. Now, Jesus was God's express word. Do you believe that? Amen. Then what are you to be? Sons of God too, with the express word in the church. Carrying on. That is what we are to be. One love, one faith, one hope, one baptism. The joy of the Lord in the midst, brother. We, we don't see one another. We are not happy. Brother, when it's time for fellowship, we are rejoicing. We are coming to see our brother, our sister, to be in fellowship. And when we close from church, we are sad because we are departing. Blessed be the title of Bind. Our hearts in Christian love. Oh, blessed be the name of that. How we have to come back to that old time religion must come back to the church. The image express image of Christ back in the religion. That's what the world wants to see. Oh, glory be to the living God. If Jesus was the express way, amen, then what are you to be? Sons of God too, with the express way in the church, carrying on. That is the mystical body of Christ. Carrying on the same way that Jesus did when he was here on earth. That is the kind after his kind. Huh? That is the kind after his kind. Hallelujah. So you are an encouragement to somebody. You are not a discouragement to somebody. Praise God. You lift up your brother. Charity covers a multitude of sin. Charity does not expose a multitude of sin. That is what you are here to do. Praise God. So your brother is down. You lift him up. Praise God. You keep the unity of the faith. The unity of the spirit. The bond of peace in the church. That's what we have to do. Carry on that in the church. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to the living God. But if you are God's kind, that's different. See, you are the express image of the word making itself manifest. Oh my, why is God to? If the water falls on it, it's God to do it. Then, then give him a bath. God made man in his own image. I just don't think I've got time for the next question. Amen. Next expression. He goes on. He said, All God's words are done. 
and look here where I'm supposed to be. Praise the Lord. Let me let me skip now. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to the living God. Okay. He said, now I'm reading from the spoken word is the original seed. He said, God made man in his own image after his kind. God made a man after his kind. You get it? A man after his kind. Well, that kind of a man was he. Huh? If you look back and see what he was when he was made flesh, then the kind of man he makes. Is that right? When you look back to see when Jesus was on the earth. Huh? What Jesus was, then that is the kind of man he makes today. Amen. That's the kind of man I'm preaching about tonight. Amen. The one that overcomes everything. Amen. The one that can trust God on his word. The one that can be about his father's business. Are you getting it? Praise God. Everywhere you are in the spirit, not just in church, everywhere in the spirit. That's the kind of man God is looking for. Because Jesus was in the spirit. Hallelujah. Till he got to the temple, he was in the spirit. He said, I am in the spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me. Not anointed someone, anointed me. Jesus knew that the anointing had come for him to bring good tidings. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bring liberty to the captive. Hallelujah. And he did that. He healed the sick. He delivered the bound. He brought liberty to them that were bound. So the problem is that if that was the kind of man God expressed, huh? that is the kind of man and woman God wants to express today. That's the kind of man. Huh? We are going into the meat now. To the bones, praise God. Oh, are you with me now? You better buckle up, praise God. Because, brother, I have told you now, I have left this world, man. I'm in another sphere, and I'm not coming back down. Brother, if you look at the science world today, they are shooting things to the orbit. They are going to Mars. They want to find life outside this earth. And we are looking for life outside this earth. We have a rapture to go to. Praise God. We have a great lift up to go to. It's astronaut time, but it is bright time. It is manifestation time. It's going away time. It is rapture time. Oh, and I'm making myself ready. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be his name. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Well, what kind of man was he? If you look back and see what he was when he was made flesh, that's the kind of man he makes. Is that right? That's the kind of man he makes. A man after his kind. Praise God. Amen. The said, that's right, isn't it? He said, that is his kind man. Oh, glory be to the living God. Hallelujah. Are you, are, you, are you the kind of man God is making today? Hallelujah. The man said, Amen. Events made clear by prophecy. And did not our hearts bend within us? And does it not bend now to know that you are now in the presence of the resurrected Jesus Christ? To whom be glory and praise forever. Who is in the express image of God Almighty Jehovah? Who sailed down in the form of a pillar of fire? In a burning bush to attract the attention of the prophet who had as descended upon the mountain and anyone that even tied that mountain was killed besides moses and joshua what was it how was it in how was it that he led the children of israel through the wilderness in their journey as a type of a call out people today Amen. ah you see where we are now you see why things are going the way they are when we are in the wilderness but we are called out of egypt we're on our way to the promised land the land of the Holy Ghost, the land of perfection. Brother, you better stay focused on that prophet. Follow that pillar of cloud by day, praise God, and that pillar of fire by night. And the Father, that you wrote to me today, the word. Oh, blessed be the name of a living God. Hallelujah. Are you with me tonight? The prophet said, Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to the living God. He said, How was it that he led the children of Israel through the wilderness? in their journey as a type of the so-called our people today so we are in a journey in the wilderness journey some are falling by the wayside but we are moving on because the cloud is moving don't let nobody's attitude and behavior stop you praise god don't let me you are called as an individual you are pressing as an individual 
and the trials and temptations are meant to come. Expect, my brother, just have a perfect heart in your soul. Let your spirit be right. Let your heart be clean and walk in the presence of God. Say, Lord, help me, Lord. Help me to overcome this trial one more time. Huh? God, he has finished it now. Listen to me. God don't use nobody to take care of nobody. God takes care of everybody. That is why children can be born today. Their parents will die and leave them, but those children will grow up and be successful people. Why? God watches over them. Uh, when you try to stand in God's place, you are taking His place. Be careful. He said, I am Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sometimes you, you, you know, you, sometimes you hear certain things people say, you wonder why they have the knowledge of the saving grace of God. God provides our need. Nobody provides our need. God provides. The same God I gave you life will provide your need. God feed you. He will take care of you. Care what nobody thinks. It's God that created you. He will say the best. The best. I mean the best. Do they farm? Uh, do they plant? Do they have a storehouse? Do they have a father and mother giving them food? No, but God feeds them. How much more his sons and daughters he created in his image? Oh, come on, trust your God, man. Trust your God, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be to the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me wind up now. Praise God. But are you following me tonight? This God must dwell and manifest. When Jesus needed money, what did he do? He said, go, 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 go. Praise God. And they went and they got money for it. And they paid. He needed a dog. He said, go and tie that one. Bring it. Did he steal it? No. You know, the king of kings, everything on earth belonged to him. Amen. Everybody that used whatever God needed was a borrower, right. was a squatter. Amen. So that donkey, that call didn't belong to who thought he had it. It was God, Jesus Christ, who created it. Amen. He had need of it. He said, go and tie it and bring it, man. Amen. If they ask you, tell them the master has need of it. Oh, come on now. Amen. He told them, tell them the master has need of it. Praise God. How much more sons and daughters of God. Hallelujah. All right. So let's go on now. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me hit my, my inspiration and we'll get out of here. Praise God. The Ram says, Amen. I was reading John 16, 13. How big when the spirit of truth, the word is come. He will guide you in all truth. Thy word is truth, and he shall not speak of himself. Amen. Praise God. But whatsoever he shall hear the word of God, that shall he speak, and will show you things to come. Amen. The Bible says, Spirit bringing the word of prophecy. Amen. Showing you things to come is the Spirit bringing the word of prophecy. Amen. So, when we tell you you are going to be adopted, is the Spirit bringing word of prophecy. Amen. Huh? You shall be, you shall be filled, you shall be sealed. And what do you do? You receive it. Amen. You sit there and look at me like, no, you are receiving it because the Spirit is bringing what word of prophecy. Oh, oh, come on now. Okay. He said, I want you to note very carefully that Jesus did not say that the evidence of being baptized with the Holy Ghost was speaking in tongues, interpreting, prophesying, or shouting and dancing. He said the evidence would be that you would be in the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the Holy Ghost will lead you to all truth. In the message, all truth. That's why false doctrines can get you out of here. That's why all the damnable doctrines in the message are here. But the true bride is brought to all truth. Adoption, perfection, the image of the Son of God. Oh, 
blessed be the name of a living God. Oh my, so let's go praise God. Hebrews, Hebrews 1, 4. Be made, be made so much better than angels as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. What was it? Christ was the fullness of the Godhead bodily. There was no blemish in him. Hallelujah. You, couldn't, you could find a fault in Jacob. You could find a fault in Abraham. You could find a fault in Isaac. And when it came to Joseph, you couldn't find a fault in him. Praise God. Remember, say, he tied Christ. And that is where God is bringing the bride to. We are not in Jacob grace. Huh? That's why we try to get you in order. When you are coming out of Jacob grace into Joseph perfection. Where there is nothing against you. The all that he foreknew, he called. All that he called, he predestinated, right? All that he called, he justified them. Brother, that just about me that you've never done it in the first place. Huh? And all that he just about you has already what glorified. Huh? Glorified in the image of his what? His word. So there's no for now, no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Are you ready now? Ten minutes and we are out of here. Praise God. Amen. Oh, Brother Abraham said, Amen. Amen. Abraham, we found last night to the Christian church today, election, election, and in Isaac justification and in Jacob grace. He said, You have to believe in grace if you are if you read Jacob's life. Amen. You have to see it by election and calling. Cause oh, the things that fellow did. Huh? Some of you, when you look at your life, oh, it is God's election. Huh? Because man would have already condemned you. Oh my, have you heard this? That, 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 that. Have you heard? 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 Praise God. But all those have you heard? 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 God is looking at you under the blood. Why? He elected you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, so the problem is you have to believe in grace if you read Jacob's life. You have to see it was election and calling. Amen. Because the things that that fellow did, but yet God had blessed him. God had told him what was going to happen. So he called him. Amen. You notice after he wrestled with this angel, the things begin to look different. Huh? Amen. And when you wrestle with the Holy Spirit, oh, you mean to tell me you wrestle? Yeah, you do wrestle. Hallelujah. When you say, once more, Lord. Help me, Lord. You are wrestling with the Holy Spirit. That is the aim you're trying to get the people back to the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. After Jacob wrestled with the angel, his life was changed. But I said, things begin to look different. Amen. And then when he got before Pharaoh, Moses now, he said, my pilgrimage has been so many years. God had let him know that he was only a pilgrim now in joseph perfection so jacob came out of jacob grace and uh, now into what joseph perfection so don't worry all that is going on is jacob grace but we are on our way to joseph perfection the man said now notice three stages justification by faith sanctification through the blood baptism of the holy spirit then perfection uh, so our call is perfection our manifestation is perfection our, our proof, our sense of God, hallelujah, is the perfection. The word must be made perfect in you. All this baby stuff has got to die in the wilderness. They can't come into the promised land. I get it, me now. Oh, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we will sing and shout the victory. What victory? Oh, you have to overcome to get victory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was reading, I said something on the church platform last week. Praise God. Where's, where Ma was saying that, look, that, that, that you forgive, but forgiveness does not mean that you don't have what? Memory. It's not, it's not memory loss. Praise God. 
when you see them trying to kill you today, tomorrow, will you go that way? No, you avoid that place. So cut off everything that won't take you to that perfection. Jesus said, if your right hand up, cut it off. We are on a journey now. And it is not flesh and blood. It's not mother and father, brother and sister. It's me and God. On that day, if the rupture don't come and I drop dead, I'm going the next second. Hallelujah. Divine presence. If you are not ready, God can't do a magic overnight. Because you have all the way to make you ready. So wake up, church. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are called to perfection. Walk down perfect before me. You have to walk perfect before Christ. Now when that trumpet sounds, your trumpet could be tomorrow. Oh, your trumpet could be tonight. Are you ready? You stand before him and say, well done my good and faithful daughter. Well done my good and faithful son. Praise God. When they dig the grave and they want to lower the casket, in, no matter how they, oh, I love him, I love him. If I die today, you all cry. When they are putting me in the grave, how many will fall and follow me? Nobody. Salt is sweet, Papa. Soup is sweet. Are you getting me now? So don't fool yourself, man. You came alone, you are going alone. I came alone, I'm going alone. So we have to make our calling and election what? Sure. Hallelujah. Praise God. So one had a thousand wives. Eh? I'm sure with so many children. When he died, he left all of them behind. He went alone. David went alone. Brother Abraham went alone. And we are all going alone. When that trumpet sounds on the day of the rapture, I'm not looking left and right. Who is coming with me? I'm hearing the voice and I'm going. Are you getting me? Amen. But once we are here, we are gathered on the way. Amen. And that is Christ. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Oh, three stages. Justification by faith. Sanctification through the blood. Baptism of the Holy Spirit. Then perfection. Amen. Glorified. Are you hearing? Amen. Huh? Amen. Perfection what? Glorified. Amen. So God expects us to be up there in the spirit. Where our life, every day, our action and thought and everything is the spirit. Amen. We are carnal in our flesh. Amen. But said, every seed bring forth after its kind. Amen. So if we cannot be one in spirit now, how can we be one in spirit? Huh? Then what kind of seed is in us? It's not the seed of God. Hallelujah. Are you getting me now? The seed of God is you. Look, in the book of Acts, after the Holy Ghost had come, they were together, all together. There was no family and no tribe and nothing. It was the pride. And the prophet is a mystical body of Christ. Jesus told them, these are my brothers and my sisters. Those that are about the Father's business. And that's what I've decided in my life. My brothers and my sisters are pride of Jesus Christ. No matter who they are, whether they are accounts, they are airways, whatever, once they believe the saving blood of Christ and the misery of the hour, oh brother, they are my number one priority. Praise God. Hallelujah. I came to this world alone and I'm going out of here alone. I'm not tied to no family. From today, I have no family. I'm alone. Are you hearing me now? Amen. I declare it. And I'm free. Amen. I'm born alone and I'll go alone. I have no family. Christ is my mother, my father, my brother and my sister. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 God told Abraham, I have blessed you. I have made you a father. Not I will, I have. And you will come to me in an old age. You are going to be saying, you are already, you've already done it, I've already done it, I've already said so. You haven't got nothing to do with it. It is unconditional. That bride is called out. One in a million. 
praise God that God place you in the body to be called his son to be called his daughter to fulfill your purpose in his way Amen. hallelujah and once you find your purpose on the way on the earth brother that is settled you didn't call yourself he called you he chose you he placed you come on now right John did you ever dream that there's a place called Tamale you will come but God placed you here uh, all the way from where for me now God placed you here praise God just like each of you sitting here tonight you never plan in your life to be here but God said look come on now I'll go to church I've got, a, I've got witnesses that will come out of Tamale. Praise God. And we are here. And we are not backing out today. We are not backing out tomorrow. We are going all the way to perfection. That's our call. Praise God. Oh, brother. Hallelujah. David was by election. He, he was elected, anointed, called and placed. Uh, elected by God. Called from sheep headed to be king, anointed and positionally placed. Amen. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, Abraham election, Isaac justification, and Jacob grace, and Joseph perfection. Right. Nothing against Joseph, all right? There you are, called. Are you a David? The prophet is asking, are you a David? Yes. Are you called? Yes. Are you elected? Yes. Are you ready to be positionally placed? Yes. From sheep heading to what? Our king. Yes. Oh, we shall reign on the earth with him. Come on now, don't give up now. We are, we are just there with a few more steps to walk into that supernatural dimension where we'll go out of this place, praise God, and come back to reign on earth with him where we shall tread down the ashes of the wicked. Come on now, don't give up now. Are you a David? Called, elected first by God. Hallelujah. Oh, how many Christians here? Raise your hand. You are not a Christian by your desire. You are a Christian by God's desire. No man can come to me except the Father draws him fair. You was elected by God before the foundations of the world to be a Christian. That is scripture. No man can come, praise God. First thing, you was elected. Then you was called. And when God elected you, then he called you. And you heeded his call. Then he poured an anointing oil on you, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. What does the oil represent in the Bible? The Holy Spirit. When he poured the anointing oil upon him, he was he baptized him with the Holy Ghost in a simple form. Amen. Oh, but said that just come fresh. So when God pours that oil on you, that anointing on you, that is the Holy Spirit. Ready to place you in position. Oh, glory be to the living God. And that is why you are rejoicing. That is why you overcome the world. That is why you live in heavenly places and you've got to maintain your spiritual thermometer out there. Don't drop down to the carnal world. No, stay right up there. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And right here, he right there. And when that anointing struck him, he was positionally placed as king. Did you get that? So when Samuel found David, in the backside with the sheep and pour that oil on him. But brother said, right there, David was positionally placed as king. You see why Saul wanted to kill him? Even though Saul was still king. You see that? Don't let these trials shake you, man. God has already anointed you to place you and manifest you in this season. In the spirit, David was already placed. There was nothing Saul could do about it. Now, God called, we all have a purpose. So if you are a soul leader, you have a purpose. That's your purpose. Do your hundred percent. If you are a preacher, you are, that's your purpose. If you are here to beat the tambourine, that is your purpose. If you are here to clap and sing, that is your purpose. When the anointing comes, it positionally places you there. God's choice for you. He called you, elected you, and placed you. Oh, by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, when that anointing struck him, he was positionally placed as king. Amen. You are positionally placed in Christ as kings and priests. Is that right? The moment you receive the Holy Spirit, God places you in the kingdom and heir. What a beautiful picture. There you are. Abraham election, Isaac justification. 
That's amen. He that comes will be justified by faith. Hallelujah. Jacob grace. Nothing you have done, but it is by the grace of God. Amen. Joseph perfection placed. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of a living God. Are you ready to be placed? Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to the living God. Brother said, and I'm closing the great warrior David. Say, let me drop this on the side. Don't think I'm excited. Amen. I'm not. Look, he said, let me drop this on the side. Hallelujah. How many here is justified by faith? Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Every one of you put up your hand is justified by faith. Amen. See what I'm saying? So the brother said, every one of you that put up your hand, you are justified by faith. Amen. Amen. Justified. Amen. So what sin? Huh? Man has no right. Man has no power to forgive my sin. Man has no power to hold my sin. The one that has power is God and he said, I am justified. Amen. So why do I care about what somebody thinks and says? No, I'm justified. Amen. Who said so? God said so. Amen. You get it? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, how many here is justified by faith? Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. My brother, every one of you put up your hand is justified by faith. Is that right? The scripture said, those who he has called, he justified. And those who he justified, he has already glorified. In the presence of Almighty God, your name is indelibly root. Huh? When you go to foot, they put an indelible mark ink on your finger. You can wash it and scrub it. It won't go. The prophet said, you are indelibly marked. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Hallelujah. Your God Almighty, praise God. Amen. In the presence of God Almighty, your name is indelibly wrote with the blood of Jesus Christ. Glorified in his presence, positionally placed here on the earth for a purpose. What is the purpose? To do the will of God. Amen. You see your position, Christian? You are here to do the will of God. Amen. Don't never do the will of nobody. Amen. Amen. I'm not here to do my will. You are here to do the will of God. What does that word enjoy you and require you? That is what you are here to do. Huh? He elected you and placed you here for a purpose. To do what? His will. Amen. Brother, see your position, Christian. Hallelujah. Oh, are you, are you happy tonight? Oh. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Oh, glory be to the living God. Amen. Praise God. Oh, brother, I want to close up. Hallelujah. Oh, he said, praise God. Now, today, he is alive. Huh? Christ is still alive. He is proving himself by his word. This word is God. You believe it? And then this word is allotted here for the day, for this day. There's got to be somebody come by that that word can be quickened and make that word live. Huh? So somebody must come by and believe that word. That it will be quickened and that word can be lived. How will it be lived? By your life. Yes. The word is allotted. So the measure we are hearing is allotted for our day. Amen. Praise God. He said that's when he was born a virgin, a virgin birth. It was unusual. Out of the ordinary. These things are out of the ordinary. He couldn't help it. No more than Joseph could help being who he was. So the pride, we can't help but being who we are. Rather, no more than Joseph could help but being who he was. Look at those four patriarchs Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Jacob, and Joseph. Abraham calling election, or vice versa. Abraham election, Isaac calling, Jacob grace, Joseph perfection. Nothing against him. That was God working his way out. Amen. Praise God. So you are here in this age, Joseph perfection, you cannot help it. Huh? It is God working his way out in your life. What Luther Wesley Pentecost and the capstone. See who we are? We are the capstone bride. Joseph perfection. The love of God. Oh, come on now. Hallelujah. What? Luther Wesley Pentecost. The capstone. And the church and the way become the same. Huh? The bride and the way become what? The same. The same thing exactly perfectly. Everything in the mathematics of the Bible perfectly set us. Oh, Brother Abraham said, I wish I had a month here with you nice people. Oh, hallelujah. You see, praise be to the living God. We are the capstone bride. 
and we are to be united with the word and that spirit can come upon the word then the spirit and the bride will say what come huh the Bible says you'll be walking in sweetness and in humility. Amen. These are not just words, man. It must be lived. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Make this rupture, man. Because if you don't make this rupture, you have so much to answer for. But you have hurt so much by this prophet to miss that rupture. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. Oh my, let me close our praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Oh, the works, brother said, then the works will be manifested in him the same. For if the same seed word of God, God's son was his example seed. And what his life was then, the spirit poured upon him after his baptism. The Holy Spirit came upon him, the very life that he poured, that he produced well, that same watery spirit of the Holy Ghost will bring forth the same kind of a life, doing the same kind of a thing that he did. If it's the same seed, Son of God's seed will produce Son of God's seed. Church, we are to produce the seed of the word. Shame on you women with bob hair. Shame on you preachers denying the truth. That is right. The hair has nothing to do with it. But God said it is. Huh? So some say, oh, your hair has nothing to do with it. But God said it did. See where it is? Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Oh, my. I want to close our praise God. Amen. Amen. But Abraham said, I am Abraham because I was born of Charles and Eli Abraham. That makes me Abraham because I am their seed. There are two agreements. Praise God. With their sperm together, made a seed and made me. When God and His Word become one, huh? Okay. I'm closing. Hallelujah. When God and His Word, which is the purpose for why He put us here, Amen. for the we and the Word to become what? one, one. You just don't come here to just show off and you know Amen. do churches and <laughs> sing and jump and shout and go home. No life. No, the Word and us must be one. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. When God and His Word becomes one. When God's spirit waters the seed of God, Amen. I hear it. Amen. How do you water the seed? The word waters the seed. Amen. When God's spirit waters the seed of God, the word of God, it produces God. Amen. Amen. Huh? So let me see God in this church. Amen. I'm tired of seeing you in this church. I want to see God in this church. Amen. Because we don't preach you, we preach the word. Amen. And we are watering the seed. Let us let that seed come to life. Amen. Praise God. When that word, what is the seed? It produces who? The word. Amen. It produces what? God. And it's not the individual, it is God. You are dead. So I want to see more dead people. Uh, every service, I want to bury people. Now, uh, Brother John, I want you to die tonight so that we bury you. Then we can see God live. Praise God. Hallelujah. We've got to die. Die to ourselves. Die to our way. Die to our thinking. Die to our reason because Joseph perfection must be born in you. Oh, blessed be the name of a living God. Hallelujah. Oh, my is God. For what? You are dead. You are not yourself no more. You record yourself dead. Hammered out. Huh? Ask Brother John, he'll tell you how they hammer out. Take the wood and use the chisel and make that hole and hollow it out. The man says, You are hollowed out. Amen. Your pride, hallowed out. Your I can't take this, hallowed out. Your unforgiveness, hallowed out. Your division is spirit, hallowed out. Praise God. Hallelujah. You reckon yourself dead, hallowed out. Waiting for the seed gem. Then what is it? It is it isn't you no more. It is it isn't the man. It is God in the man. It's the seed gem. Like the beginning, spoken word. It is God's word made manifest in the man. Then it isn't the man, it is the man that is died. Amen. He can't be a hybrid and a son Amen. at the same time. He's either a son of death or a son of life. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Choose you to say where you belong. Life or death. Give me life, Lord. Praise God. Let me be hallowed out, Father. Amen. Praise be the name of a living God. Oh my. Are you ready to be hallowed out?
Are you ready? Praise God. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. I think I have to preach this, continue this message on Friday. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I'm saying now, and I'm closing musicians. Now, this harvest time. At the beginning, when God sowed the seed upon the earth, He gave it to the heart of His children. Huh? You see where the word is? The word is not in the heart of unbelievers and make believers, though they are all in the church. Praise God. But He gave it to the heart of the what? His children. The believer. So the word comes to be manifested only in the heart of the believer. Are you with me tonight? Praise God. Amen. To the heart of His children, His family. Huh? So God's children are his what? His family. Amen. To keep that word. That was their only defense. Keep that word. Amen. Here comes the enemy in and broke the barrier. By sowing seed of discrepancy. Contrary to the word of God. If that was discrepancy in the beginning, it's still the discrepancy today. Amen. Anything that will add anything to the word of God is still the seed of discrepancy. Amen. I don't care where it comes from. If it's from organization, if it's from military sources, if it's from political powers, anything contrary to the word is the seed of discrepancy. Amen. Praise God. But that word is to be made flesh that we can be manifested. Are you ready tonight? Notice. When the word becomes flesh, it becomes what? Manifested. Are you hearing? When the word becomes what? Flesh, it becomes what? Manifested. Praise God. Are you ready for the word to be made manifested? Hallelujah. It becomes manifested. They will take the word and put it in the right position. In the right kind of ground, it will bring forth. The seed will bring forth its kind. Amen. And we are brought to this dispensation for the seed to bring forth its kind. What kind? Joseph perfection. Nothing against that pride. Praise God. Are you ready tonight? Amen. Are you ready tonight? Amen. For him to lead you? Yes, that you will follow? Amen. That you will be hallowed out? Amen. That you will die out to your ways? Amen. Praise be the name of the living God. Because we are coming to that perfection. And nothing is going to stop that bride. You are called, you are elected, you are chosen, you are justified. But you have to take that step into perfection. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, brother, said, don't hold to your traditions. Don't hold to your creeds. They are all right in their day. But the flower has blossomed and it is to blossom now. It is seed time. The seed must bring forth after this kind. As we stand to our feet. Jesus promised these things. And when we see God made his promise made before us. We see it is in us. And his spirit is living in us. That is the only way of worship. Only place of worship. Only true way of worship. What? The spirit. Are you getting me? The spirit must be here. To that land of promise. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. God made the promise. Jesus said that things that I do, you will do also. And what would what he would do in the last days? How it come through this age? Neither light nor day, like like a darkened time, but said in the evening time it shall be light. And the light is here today. The light is the word allotted for your day. And the word allotted for your day is Joseph what? Perfection. You've got to move into that perfection. But before you can get there, you have to die out. If you are tired, you can go. Don't stand and be eyeing me and looking at me with very angry eyes. If you are tired, you can go and rest. Praise God. Be very careful now. We're in the presence of God. Hold me, Lord. I will go. God will be so manifested into His bride, His church. Till they will both be the same. They are one. Now you see where we are at. 
That is God's provided place of worship. God will be so manifested in his bride, into his bride. His church today will both be the same. They are one. You see where we are at? We haven't got time, church. I will answer. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, talk to him tonight. And I will go.